So here it is, the CXN V2, which stands for version two from Cambridge Audio. Now going forward, I'm gonna just call this the CXN. It is a network audio streamer. And what that means is it plays your digital files, whether they be on an iTunes library on your computer or on a network attached storage, or even on a hard drive. This has USB profiles one and two built in so you can play high res music but it also has the capability to stream internet radio and play music from your favorite apps, including Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Tidal, Cobuzz, and many, many others. So basically it becomes the hub for your digital music player. Now I've spent a few weeks with this, sorry this review is late, but I have spent some time with this and honestly I enjoyed my time. So in this video I'm going to talk about the specs, the design, and I'm going to give you my impressions of what it was like to live with this. And short answer is I enjoyed it. So let's get to it. The CXN features dual Wolfson WM8740 DAX with a second generation ATF2 digital filter. It has a two pole dual differential bezel analog filter and supports various audio formats. It is 3.4 inches tall, 16.9 inches wide, and 12.2 inches deep. It weighs 7.7 .7 pounds and costs $1,099. Before we get too far into this video, if you want to purchase the CXN, the CXA81, or anything else from Cambridge Audio, use those links in the description below. Also, if you enjoy product reviews, unboxings, comparisons, talk about streaming media, and basically all things home theater, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted anytime we upload new content. Now let's talk about the design. The first thing you notice is the Luna Gray surface finish on the front plate because it's not black. Usually these things are black, but Cambridge Audio went with Luna Gray and I like it. The rest of the CX line, including the CD player, the CXC, and the power amplifiers, the A61 and CXA81, also have this Luna Gray surface finish. So if you buy one or both of those, you will have a matching set and I like that. The rest of the box is in black, but again, you've got this gray finish up front. Right here up top is the Cambridge Audio logo, and just below that is the power button. So you push that button and the power turns on. The other basic knob over here, this turn knob, is the input selection knob, so you can turn it and select your different inputs or just your different menu items on the screen that you see that's coming up. You can press it or push it in, and that is how you select enter. Now, if you put this box into preamp mode this also becomes a volume control so you can turn the volume up and down and i like that now as the screen again comes up you can see right here there's a usb connection so you can plug in a hard drive there there's also one on the rear if you don't want to put it on the front of the device now, next to the screen, the screen is kind of the highlight here, and I do like the screen, but next to it, you have four buttons um, on the left and right hand side. You've got all your play, pause, fast forward, rewind, stop buttons over here on the left, and over here on the right, you've got an info button, the home button, a back button, and an additional menu button. So as you can see, Cambridge Audio basically gives you all the controls you need to use on the front panel, which is very, very nice. If you're close to it, you can just make your adjustments right there. But if you're farther away, Cambridge also includes a remote. Now this remote is cool because it's not just a remote for the CXN. It's also the same remote for the CX power amplifiers, the A61 and A81, and the CD player. The power amplifier controls are up here up top, the network player right here in the center, and then the um, CD player is down here at the bottom. But if you wanna power it on, you just hit the power button up there, and then there's this light button, so you can change the brightness of the LCD screen. And then there's a mute button up top. And of course you have all the different functions that you need um, for the CXN right here in the center. Now, if the remote and front panel controls don't do it for you, Cambridge Audio also has an app. It's called the Stream Magic app, and you can use that to control the CXN all the way. You can turn the power on, turn the power off, change the volume, obviously change the input selection. You can add to your queue. You can remove things from your queue. You can Chromecast to this. Basically, you can do everything you need with the app, including setup, which is pretty cool. Moving on to the rear, as you can see, all the connections are back here. Starting off on the far left is the power connection. You plug the power cable in there. Next to that is a Wi-Fi dongle, so you can connect to wirelessly to your network. And if you wanna connect via ethernet, there's that connection right there. But in between these two is the USB connection that I talked about before. If you don't want your 
hard drive hanging off the front of this. You can always plug it in the back so it won't be seen and that is a definite plus. Moving on, you've got digital inputs, both coaxial and toss links and outputs, the same coaxial and toss link connection. Just above that are control bus connections in and out so you can connect this to other gear and be able to do certain command functions like if you had the CXA81 you could connect this and if you turn the CXA81 on through the control cable it would also turn on this box so that's just nice to have. Now down here is a USB-B connection so you can connect this to your computer with a USB-A to USB-B connection or USB-C to USB-B connection and that's definitely a plus. Next to that is a ground slash lift switch. And this is a nice switch to have if you have some sort of ground hum happening, you can flip it and hopefully it will get rid of that ground hum. A nice little attention to detail from Cambridge Audio, I like it. And finally we have balanced and unbalanced connections. So you can connect this to your powered speakers or a power amplifier. This does not have amplification built in. This is just basically a processor. It does have a preamp in there, but there isn't additional amplification. So you do have unbalanced and, or excuse me, unbalanced and balanced connections right there. Now let's move on and talk about what you really wanna know and what I really wanna talk about, which is my experience with the CXN. I paired this with a couple of different amplifiers, including the CXA81, which is the power amplifier from Cambridge Audio, and my own Monoprice Monolith 7 channel power amplifier. I also compared it to a couple of different DACs, including the one in my Denon AVR-X4400H and the Panasonic UB8. 20 and I did all of this just to understand exactly how this is going to sound But I'm going to rank this in a few different categories from 1 to 5 1 being the absolute worst and 5 being the absolute best The first category I'm going to rank is design and I give this a 4.5 out of 5 Overall, I really like the way this looks. I like the lunar gray surface finish. It has a classic yet timeless look to it that I really appreciate. Uh, I had this set up in our front room and my wife walked by and saw it with the CXA81 sitting on top and she looked at him and she said, Cambridge Audio? Hmm. And that was it. That was her saying that it looked good even in our front room, which is a definite plus. So it passes the spousal acceptance factor. Um, I also like the LED screen right here because I like looking at the album art. It looks good, it's nice and clear. Now, honestly, I wish it was OLED because then those blocks would be inky black, but that's probably asking a bit much. So overall, I like this design, I like the connections they have in back, and I have to give it a four and a half out of five. The next category I'm gonna talk about is features and controls, and I have to give this a four out of five. Cambridge has included support for all the major apps, including Tidal, Cobuzz, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify, and many others. It has Chromecast built in and Apple AirPlay 2 support. It is also Rune ready. So if you have a nice curated Rune library, you can play it through this player. But one thing it's missing is Bluetooth support, but you can buy a Bluetooth dongle from Cambridge Audio. Now that dongle actually supports aptX codec, which is good, but it does not support the aptX HD codec. So you can't Bluetooth high res music to this box. And that's a little bit of a miss. This box also does not have MQA hardware built in, which means that you cannot stream Tidal Masters to this box from the app or from your phone but you can play them. You just have to connect it to the USB port to your computer, and then you can actually play the Title Masters audio. I was able to do that and it works, but you can't stream it because the MQA hardware is not built in. From a control standpoint, I like the fact that the app has all the major controls that you want in it, plus you have the hardware remote and the front panel. But the fact that it doesn't have Bluetooth support built in or MQA hardware, I have to dig in a little bit and I give it a four out of five. Now let's talk sound quality. And I have to give the CXN a five out of five. I listen to music on a couple of different pairs of headphones, some different speakers, different amplifiers, I compared it to different processors, and I just enjoyed the experience. I mean, it didn't have any additional color. It didn't add anything to the music. It just played it 
like it was supposed to be played. I compared it to CDs that I own listening to both Cobus and Tidal on their CD quality levels and I could not tell a difference whatsoever between the CXN and the CD I was playing. I went back and forth forward and back and just listen and I just enjoyed both. Sometimes when you listen to things, you know, you kind of find like you're enjoying one, you know, version a little bit better than the other, like a, on a CD versus a digital player. And on this one, I enjoyed them equally the same. So I'm happy to say that it reproduces CD quality basically bit for bit, which is a definite plus. Moving on to the high res music, I found that every now and then the high res would seem just a touch warmer, a little bit more intimate. Um, so that was a definite plus. I felt like I was more there with the music when listening to high res, but that wasn't always the case. So from a high res standpoint, I definitely think it plays high res, but I also think it does come down to how the music is mastered, whether or not you're going to feel like you got a higher resolution track than CD quality. But for the CXN itself, it definitely, definitely plays well. And the experience is really cool. And one thing that I like, just to come back for just a second, which is I like that LCD screen. Being able to see the album art when I'm playing an album is a definite plus. I enjoyed it, because it's just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm listening to that track right there. You know, so it's just a lot of fun. I enjoyed my time with the CXN, so I've got to give it a five out of five for sound quality. Now the final category I'm gonna rank is value, and I give this a three and a half out of five. It is $1,099, basically $1,100 in the US, and that is a bit expensive. I don't want to negate that. I mean, you have a nice design, you also get this nice LCD screen up front. I like it, but one thing that you don't get, or two things rather that you don't get, is you don't get Bluetooth built in, and even if you buy the dongle, you don't get the aptX HD support from the dongle so you just you're just missing that right but you also don't get that mqa hardware built in so if you're a title person you have to stream um, from your computer through the usb b connection on the back and so for that reason i've got to give it a three and a half out of five so to wrap this all up obviously i enjoyed my time with the cxn it is a great audio player. It looks good. It has got that LCD screen so you can look at your album art. It plays high quality music bit for bit and it sounds good, which is a definite plus. The only two drawbacks that I found was that it doesn't have Bluetooth built in. And even if you purchase the wireless dongle, it doesn't do Aptex HD. So you can't get really high res Bluetooth support. And it also doesn't have MQA hardware built in. Now, if Cambridge does decide to build another version of this, which I hope they are, hopefully they will include those two things and that would make this an even better player. But if you are looking for a player to play high res music that looks good and you kind of like looking at your album art, this is definitely something you should check out. It it's great guys i really enjoyed my time with it i don't know how more how much more i can say that but if you want to purchase the cxn the cxa81 or anything else from cambridge audio use those links in the description below thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment we'll talk to you next time